Welcome to Church BD Production, I'm Andrew. Today we're going to go over how to set up the Synology Disk Station 1819 Plus and how to kind of configure some of the IP and a few other things. So let's get started. So once you figure out what your IP is for the Synology, you're going to want to go to that instead of a web browser and then you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. Next, you'll just hit setup. And then it's going to ask you to install the operating system. So we're just going to go ahead and install now. And then it says all data is on all data on hard drive one, two, three, and four will be erased. So I understand because they're new hard drives, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using old hard drives, which I wouldn't recommend, you would lose whatever's on it. And then this will go through the installation process. It says it could take uh, up to 10 minutes, but generally, Whenever I've done these updates, they've always, they've always went a lot faster. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish real quick. Mm -hmm. So once it restarts, you will hear a beep from the Synology, and then you'll be greeted with this screen to set up your Synology. We're gonna call it Vault Username. Username can, of course, be whatever you want as well, but this is what you'll be using for your admin stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and enter in ours, our password, and then we'll hit Next. The next screen will be the update screen. So we're gonna go ahead and notify of the updates, but let me install them manually. Notification, we'll go ahead and do daily. So if you just tell me whenever, we'll want it to do smart stats and we want it to enable bad sector warnings. So that way you know if there's something going on with one of your hard drives. So we'll go ahead and say next. And then here is where you can set up your quick connect. And we're gonna go ahead and skip this step for now. This is so you can connect to your Synology using the cloud. So if you wanna create your own little cloud station, you can go ahead and do that here. But the next step is go ahead and share your Synology device so that way other users on your network can find it. But of course, for right now, the only way to connect to it is using the administration login screen. Once you do that, you'll be greeted with the device analytics. So you can go ahead and say yes if you wanna share it. Remind me later if you wanna think about it or no. So let's go ahead and say yes, we'll say okay. And then you'll go through this little tutorial here. They kind of tell you where, where, what's what and where to find stuff. But after that, you can go ahead and go in here, click on file station. It'll say there are no folders available. If you want to go to the shared folder page and create one, click okay. So we're gonna say okay. This will take you to where you can create your first volume. So we'll say okay. So we're gonna go down here to volume, we're gonna go create. And then we are going to say quick. This will use um, the SHR RAID type, which was the um, Synology Hybrid RAID, which is what I've always used and it's always worked perfectly fine for me. So say next, RAID type, SH1. So we have our storage pool description, our RAID type, say next. This is where you will select the different types or all the drives that you want to add in. We, of course, only have four drives in currently, so we're going to say next. And then, of course, it's going to tell you that all of your disks will be erased again. But since we have nothing on there, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll just leave it as the normal setup. And then we will say apply. This will go ahead and save, and then it will start creating the RAID type. And as you can see here, your capacity is right there. You have used, available. Up here, you have kind of the progress that's going on. So we're at 51 megabytes of 26 terabytes. And then once it's actually created, it's gonna to have to verify your hard disks in the background. So it's at 0.02% right now. And then of course it says that this might affect system performance. So it's best to just kind of let the Synology do what it needs to do until this is completely done. And if you want to see any updates, you can always look in the system health over here and this will say it's initializing, what it's doing. And then it also gives you your IP down here. The next thing that you're going to want to do is if you come in here to control panel, or you can get to it from the desktop here, you want to go to shared folders and create. And this will basically be what you want to create for your, uh, for your Synology. So we're going to go ahead and give this a basic name and we will just call this, we'll call this production. The description, you get a description if you want. And then here's your location. So if you had another volume that you wanted to store on within the Synology, you can do that here, or you can hide it, hide from subfolders. You can enable a recycling bin if you want. And then we can go ahead and say next. And then if you want to encrypt this particular folder, you can from here. We're not going to right now. 
pick advanced settings if you want to check for data integrity we don't need to do that if you want to do a shared quota so if you want to limit how much data can actually be used inside of this folder you can go ahead and do that here since this is the only folder we're just going to let it have all the file access it wants but i did use this um, on one of my other runs when i set up uh, dropbox i set it to the limit of what my dropbox folder or what dropbox could take that way I wouldn't ever go over it and I win it unless I bought more storage on Dropbox anyways so it doesn't really matter but that's kind of what that, that option would be used for. So you say next and then it'll list out your options here and then we'll say apply and then here in the screen is where you'll set up your permissions so obviously admin will get read write read write and then guest will have no access if you have other users in here though you can add them to read only access if you want them to just be able to read the device, read the files, but not actually erase it or yeah, erase any files potentially. So then you can just say, okay. And then that will create the folder here. So once you connect to the Synology over the network, you can see our folder is in here and then it will list down at the bottom how much storage you have. And you can then start adding files in here. So we can go in here and create a new folder. We can drag stuff in or whatever we need to do. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, hit the subscribe button, follow by the bell icon, leave us a comment down below, share it, and we will see you next time.